This land grows something you won't find anywhere else. And I had no idea that there was even a cranberry bog in Connecticut. Most people don't. Uh, so this it, is the only bog that's existed on a commercial larger scale in Connecticut at all. And it's been here for 109 years. Keith Bishop, fifth generation farmer with Bishop Orchards, took the cranberry bog over a few years ago. Apples, peaches, raspberries, no problem. But cranberries? Uncharted territory, I had to learn, so it was a steep warning curve. With advice from cranberry growers in Cape Cod, he brought the bog up to agricultural standards. This has a complete uh, water control system built in, uh, pop-up sprinklers for two and a half acres here. I got 60 sprinklers with a 10 horsepower pump coming water out of the pond in order to irrigate as the water needs are during the season. But if you're thinking, wait a second, every cranberry bog picture I've seen has had a lot of water flooding the cranberries. Are they doing it wrong? No, here in Killingworth, they're doing it a little differently. Here's a dry harvest, which is typically done for all the berries you see in the grocery stores for fresh market cranberries. The machine you'll see here um, actually has fingers that pick the, pluck the berries off of the vines. They keep completely dry, and therefore they don't get bruised as much by the process of sucking the berries off of the water in that process. The berries blossom in June. Cranberries appear in July. This is harvest week. Three farmers, five days, two and a half acres to get. I'm expecting about two-thirds of the crop that I had last year. We'll harvest about 10,000 pounds of cranberries this year. The goal in an ideal year is 25,000 pounds if Mother Nature cooperates and the insects and the weeds. Keith is in the bog for the long game, which is good since around here he's the only farmer in the cranberry bog. In Killingworth, Matt Scott, Fox 61 News.